Iran strikes back, firing more than a dozen missiles at an air base where U.S. troops are housed. So we said New York's Jessica Layton is here with more. Jessica. Well, Dick, this is clearly Iran making good on a promise of revenge. The latest from the Pentagon tonight is that Iran launched more than a dozen ballistic missiles against the U.S. military at two different bases in Iraq. Now, we don't have any information on any possible deaths just yet. So we're, you're looking right now at some video that appears to show the missiles in the air. The two bases targeted were the Al-Assad Air Base, which is northwest of Baghdad, and in Erbil, which is in northern Iraq. Now, Iran has been warning of retribution ever since the U.S. took out a top general, Qasem Soleimani, last week. Shortly after the attack tonight, Iranian leaders tweeted out this picture of Iran's flag, an apparent answer to President Trump tweeting out the American flag after the killing of Soleimani. Now, tonight's attack against the U.S. troops stationed in Iraq comes just a couple days after the president put out a very stern warning, saying if Iran strikes any Americans or American assets, we have targeted 52 Iranian sites that would be hit very hard and very fast. Those 52 sites representing 52 American hostages taken by Iran years ago. Now, there are 5,000 U.S. troops stationed around Iraq. Over the weekend, the Iraqi parliament voted to have our men and women leave its country. Again tonight, Iran claiming responsibility for firing missiles, at least a dozen, at two U.S. military bases in Iraq a short time ago. There is no information yet on casualties. The White House says the president has been briefed and is consulting with his national security team as we speak, but we have yet to hear directly from him. A little while ago, there was speculation, Dick, that the president may address the nation on live television tonight. We're now being told that's not happening. They are planning their next move. And the big question now, do we respond? Does the president let it go as he did in the past? Or what is the next move, I guess? I mean, he has made the warning very clear. He clearly said, if they strike America, we will hit back hard. So now we are waiting. The question being asked tonight, are we in a war situation? Again, the president is being briefed and is speaking with his national security team, trying to plan what's next for America. All right. And you'll have much more tonight on CBS 2 News. Yes. Thank you, Jessica. And we'll have continuing coverage of the developments with Iran on CBS 2 at 11, as I said, and as well on our website, cbsnewyorkot.com.